Okay, so I just turned some light on because I wanted to show y'all what I got in my Boxy Charm this month. So, um, it's been like a really hectic week and, well, really like month. Um, I've just been going through a lot of things, um, just like personal things. So, I'm not sure if I will get to post this on my TikTok or not. I really want to be able to post this on my TikTok. Um, because I've been doing like monthly boxy charm things on TikTok. But I like to put on sorry, my head is like itching. I washed my hair yesterday, so I don't know why my head is itching, but anyway, um well I did my nails. I don't remember if I showed y'all or not. But this is just gel polish. And yeah, I really like it. I use like chrome powder on the little squiggly lines, whatever. I got my boxy charm today, so I just thought that I'd show y'all in the vlog just so like you know if you're curious this month I got my boxy charm. So I got Lime Crime Venus 3 eyeshadow palette for $38. Well it retails for $38 and I'll open all this and show y'all. Then I got the look good glow. <laughs> Oh lord. It's like 12 something right now. I'm not sure what time it is. Let's see. 12. <coughs> excuse me. 12.24 a.m. Uh, got Glow Recipe. I'm super excited about this. This retails for $39. I got a clear brow gel from BDB. Billion Dollar Brows. This looks pretty. Pretty. It looks cute. Then I got the KAB Lip Oil, Cobb Lip Oil, maybe. Okay, I think it's just KAB because it's Kim, Ariana, and, and sorry if it like cut my phone, just like quit recording. Um, this is $20 retail. Oh, uh, the brow gel was $18 retail. And then I got the Maven Beauty Mist. Uh, rose water setting spray and this is supposed to be like waterproof i think or something like that i saw a video you're supposed to be able to like like i saw like somebody put foundation two lines and they covered up one of them and sprayed with this and it was like transfer proof like it didn't smear so anyway but now let's open this up did i say how much this was it retails for 22 dollars and I've seen Maven Beauty everywhere. I wonder if this scent is like overpowering. It's not too bad. I don't mind the scent. It's supposed to be rose, like like I said, it's the rose water setting spray. It smells just like rose water. It smells pretty good. And it's like plastic packaging, so like if you drop it, it's not gonna break. Then the KAB lip oil in honeydew sorry if I feel like if I'm like talking low I'm like I mean I'm tired but anyway whatever I've gotten one of their lip glosses or liquid lipsticks or something before oh smells like pina coladas it's a lip oil okay can y'all see my dog? She just went back there. It is a little bit thicker, like a lip gloss, but I like it. I was literally just talking to my husband the other day. Because I was scrolling on TikTok. And I saw somebody making some lip oils, like a small business. Um, and it just looked like straight up oil like this has some like viscosity to it like it doesn't just like it I don't know how to explain it but it doesn't just like it's not like water you know what I mean like this like it's like you can like hear it or whatever like this is like thicker if that makes sense see like it it's got some viscosity to it is that the word I think it is 
am I trying to be smart and I actually sound dumb I don't know but anyway I like a thicker lip oil and this is like that so I like this one and is this in any particular color I wonder I guess we can see on the container let's see oh it says clear so I guess not do we want to try it right now let's try it I have not done my brows in a hot minute because I have not had time I need to take off that little bit down there but what else well number one they look better because they're brushed out and I have not brushed them out in a couple days but whatever and I hate that I always miss you see that part that's like above the rest of my brow I always miss that and I'm scared I'm gonna take too much off when I'm waxing my brows but all right I like it I'm gonna have to see when it dries how actually they're kind of falling already I just ordered the NYX brow glue or something like that so I'm excited to try that though but that's good for just like running something through your brows you know this is the banana souffle moisture cream by uh what is it glow recipe oh, I heard something hey glowing gang indulge skin with this fruity fresh banana infused treat I am excited. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it would be. What else? Does it smell like bananas? Staring at the... <sighs> smells like banana cream. I'm gonna have to go wash my face and like do some skincare with y'all because I'm gonna try this out tonight. So, lastly, got the Venus palette. Also, y'all, we went to Five Below yesterday, um, and we bought quite a few things, and yeah, I just wanted to say that. I might show y'all a couple things I got, but, uh, here's the Lime Crime Palette. It looks really pretty. Really pretty. I'm drawn to this shade, like, this in the crease, this on the lid. It looks so good. So, anyway, that's cute. Packaging is a little bulky though, like, this is like, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. So, let me show y'all a couple things I got from Five Below. So, the first thing is sitting right here, I just have it it's a lava lamp I have not like I have yet to get it to heat up to the temperature for this stuff to like start moving around um, it said it was gonna take two to three hours last night and I plugged it up I'll show you. this got hot down here but it never really made like this got like warm but it never got to the the bubbly phase so i'm gonna leave this on probably not for as long as i need to but whatever um i just wonder if it'll bubble i don't know whatever it was only five dollars so and then i got these cute little scrunchies look at how big they get for they're a dollar a piece um Chandler got uh, Chandler got a poster. Can't remember what it was of. Let me go grab it. Okay, so I grabbed a lot of stuff. So we got I got this thing. You like stick a brush in it. Let me just grab this. You just like you can stick whatever in there, and then it suction cups to whatever you like and I thought that this would be good for drying my brushes 
Um, yeah, and then I also got this thing that also like has suction cups to your mirror or whatever, glass, whatever, and just put your brushes in there. So these were, I thought they were cute. They were like four bucks a piece. You can't beat that. And Chandler got this poster of uh, Star Wars. It says game over and there's a glare on it. But that's kind of what it looks like. And he also got his sister one with Pokemons on it, I'm pretty sure. These were like five bucks a piece. And then I got this little spray and Chandler got this spray. This was the best smelling one out of all of the men's, I swear it was. Oh, it smells so good. I, I, I'm bad at explaining scents. I got this one. I really, really, really wanted the one. Um, it's like, it's called Kimberly, like Kim K. And it's the peach one. They have a, they have cherry, peach, pineapple. And then they have one that's like supposed to be a dupe for her crystal, one of her crystal ones. Um, but the crystal one was okay. It didn't smell the greatest to me. I wanted the peach, but they were sold out. And I know that they were sold out because of TikTok because that's where I first saw it. Anyway, and then this thing, it is a little, um, like picnic blanket or whatever, like, or picnic something other, but I thought that this would be good for the beach. So it just Velcros and then you roll it out and you lay on it. And I think it's like, I think it, they call it a picnic blanket or something like that, but we're going to use it at the beach. Oh, we also got like an over the door hook thing. It's up here, like just to like hang your coats on. It's got like four little spouts on it. That was $5. Chandler got some high chews for $5. Oh, I got some earbuds. Let's see, here they are. See, it's just the little things that I forget. I got some earbuds that I can like wear like while I'm in class or whatever. Um, I love wireless earbuds like this. Got, well Chandler got this little speaker and you cut it on and it like lights up different colors blue green or red blue red green blue um it's like a little cheap one but i mean for five bucks chandler uses the speaker every single day at work so it's nice to just have a little cheap one that you know at work it's not that big of a deal it is this like drink dispenser thing. And I just wanna show y'all how like nice this is for $5 because I did not expect it to be this nice for $5. So obviously it comes with a little stand like that. And then the actual dispenser this is glass y'all like straight up glass little dispenser i don't know how good this uh -oh. well that might be an issue but anyway i don't know how good this little spout is but it does come out so that you can like wash it and then it's got this little handle and um it's got this cork top thing so I just want to make sure that I keep this like dry when I'm making drinks so that this doesn't get like nasty but literally five dollars it's a whole gallon this is a whole okay y'all so I'm not sure how I look right now because I just took my contacts out because my eyes were killing me but it's like 12 o'clock hang on sorry I saw something on my straw um I'm chugging a whole bunch of water um you like my cup it's really Chandler's cup but he was he really likes the golden girls and he was like I was like you want a like pink cup or whatever and he was like really I don't care he was like at least the people at work won't take my cup or whatever so I was like 
whatever anyway uh, we got them from Walmart and I got a friend's one um but anyway my eye has been killing me today like this left eye I don't know what it is my hands are clean by the way I just washed my face like 30 minutes ago but anyway um did I say it? it's like it's like 11 50 and I was just well my computer locked but I was just doing some homework I will show y'all I was doing some homework I've been doing homework it feels like all day since I got out of my class this afternoon at like 12 okay back to schedule programming um so I usually have 8 a.m. but this morning I did not have my 8 a.m. She posted a video on Blackboard and we watched it and we just had like <sighs> excuse me a couple of assignments to do so I already did those and then I did my group project already we just have to do like a little PowerPoint and we have to like summarize some of the things um like she gives us like a page in our book and then we like break it down summarize it all that good stuff and now i'm working on my ubd um and then honestly i probably won't work on my ubd right now i just pulled it up i think i'm gonna work on field experience um so that i can get that done tonight well like catch up tonight because it's 12 o'clock and I only have time for one more assignment tonight because I'm tired and I have to work tomorrow and there's supposed to be a tornado tomorrow. whoop de doo Yay, Mississippi. So, good morning. So, it's 7.55 and I just woke up, obviously. <laughs> it is 46 degrees out there. So, um, we had a very long day yesterday. Um, I had class. First off, I woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Because Chandler wanted to go get his hair cut. Well, he didn't wake up till like 8, 45, 9 o'clock or something like that, whatever. And then, I don't really remember. But anyway, we went and got his hair cut. So... That's 20 minutes down the road, then 20 minutes back, okay? Uh, well, we got back home. We, well, actually, on the way home, we got McDonald's breakfast. It was like 10, 15 or so when we got home, I think. No, it was more like 10.30 when we got home, but it was like 10.15 when we went to McDonald's. Anyway, whatever. That doesn't really matter. And then... We ate breakfast, and then uh, we had to go pay Chandler's car payment. Um, so we went and did that, and then we came back home. Uh, I had Zoom at 11, so we, um, so anyway, I did my Zoom, whatever. Um, and to be honest, I really didn't even pay attention to my classes um we just had like a bunch of presentations and i did mine last week um but i had already emailed my uh, my teacher and told her i was like hey i'm going to i was like hey my mama's in the hospital i haven't told y'all that but my mother was in the hospital she uh had dka which is diabetic ketoacidosis and she's doing way better now but she was really confused she couldn't remember anything her blood sugar was really high blood pressure was really low and her temperature the day that i took her to the er was really low it was like 94 um but her blood sugar got up to 550 and you want your blood sugar around 100 120 ish like that's like you that's the high you want to go is like 120 so anyway <clears throat> she has diabetes uh Hello. So, let me get y'all situated here. Right. We are doing 
the Amazonian peeling clay mask. Oh, well, no. And the Aztec uh, secret Indian healing clay mask. And I mixed it with apple cider vinegar. And I'm using this. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna get it on this, just this part. Because you can't get it like on metals. So this is what it looks like. Chandler hates me right now. I'm gonna get it real good on my chin. I'm not gonna put it everywhere like I put it on my face because I know you ain't gonna like it. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying this out. So it says leave it on for five to 10 minutes for delicate skin and 15 to 20 for normal. Alright y'all, so I just took that mask off and let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see. That's like normal. Okay. Is that a little better? Can you see a little better? I just turned it back up. Did not need to do that. Anyway, I am a little bit red, but Anyway, that mask, my skin feels really smooth and I'm gonna have to try it out some more. That was the first time we've done it. But um, I got some stuff from Target online and I wanted to show y'all what I got because just thought I like hauls, so. Okay, so I know there's a shadow behind me, but it's just because I have a ring light on. So, I'm just going to start with the stuff that I have, like, out of the box first. Um, I got this e.l.f. Lash and Brow Serum. Looks like Bob. Um, and you put it on your lashes and your brows. I'm probably just going to put it on my lashes. I might put it on my brows, like, in the sparse areas back here, but that's it. And... I got some underwear. It was like three for 18 and they're normally like $7 a piece, so. And then I wore these today. Oh, Chandler bought some Bubbly Bounce caffeinated sparkling water. We got the triple berry flavor. Um, we haven't tried it yet. Honestly, I want you to open yours and let me try it first. Because if I don't like it, I don't want to waste another one. So we just need to open one for right now. Um, anyway, but I got some little biker shorts. They're like cotton. Let's see what they're made out of. 95% cotton, 5% spandex. And I got an extra, extra large. They're by Wild Fable. Um, because they were out of the 2X. Um, like the plus size. So I got straight size, extra, extra large. And I also got this, I think they call it teal. It's like a sage green. This is what they look like before. And I kind of stretched, stretched them out a little bit. So like as you wear them, they'll like conform to your body. Um, they were $7 a piece. Uh, here's the tag. This came off of, hang on. Oh, no one. Sorry, my camera was not in autofocus. So there we go. That's why nothing was focusing. Here, I'll show you the elf brow stuff. The brow and the other stuff. It was not on autofocus, so it wasn't like focusing on stuff. Chandler asked me. So anyway, but this is what the tag looks like. If you care, if you can even see it, there you go. The light is kind of shining. But anyway, I think it's a good price for $7 for these. And I don't have any biker shorts and I wanted some. And then, so I have Target and I have a little bit of Ulta too. I got this from Target as well. It's a Fit Me um, loose finishing powder. I got the color light. 
I think I have the color fair right now, but since we're like transitioning into spring and fall, spring and fall, spring and summer, I wanted to get like, it's like a shade darker. Um, cause the other one is pretty light. So I think that I can do it. Also, I self tan just a little bit. You literally cannot tell because it's not very intense at all, but, um, I'll get more into that in a second. Uh, and then I think the last thing that I got from Target, oh no, I got a bathing suit top too, but I got these, I got two of these, they're little, uh, ice pack things, and they're sheets of them, so you can, like, line the inside of your cooler, and they're, like, two or three dollars a piece, I think, and you can't, like, we'll spend more on, like, one bag of ice, I thought. So, I thought that these were good to just, like, refreeze for when we go to the beach or we're, like, outside in our backyard at the pool or something like that. Um, like, put it, put them in the cooler. And then, was this the last thing I got, I think, maybe, from Target, I'm pretty sure. I got this bathing suit top. It is so cute. Um, I just, I don't know about it on me, but I think I'm going to keep it. You think I should keep it? Do you like it? Chandler likes it on me. The only thing is just like my back rolls. I know. It's just that. But anyway. I got a a 24. Um, it was $22.99. I got a 24 because I have bigger boobs. So. Plus this is the Exhilaration brand. And I think that's like a like tween. Or like teen. I don't know. But their sizes run smaller then from Ulta I got a self tanning mitt it's the Saint Tropez one I think it was like seven dollars or something like that seven fifty um it's dual sided velvet luxe applicator mitt um and it feels pretty good in the packaging obviously I haven't opened it yet because I have not self tanned with it yet but anyway and then I got this NYX uh, the brow glue. I've seen everybody talking about it and I like my eyebrows to like lay flat and I think this looks really good. Then I got two Invisibobbles. That's what I have in my hair right now. I don't know if you can see. You can see the little tag right there. But um, Chandler got me the Morphe kit. It was like a set. What was her name? Harsh. Yeah, uh, Hrush, H-R-U-S-H. She's a makeup artist or, anyway, she's an influencer. And this, they were in her box from Morphe. And these were in there. So I got two more of these. And then I also actually got three because there's one in this set. This set was like a $23 value or, no. It was a $32 value for $23. But I got it for $11 on sale. If that makes any sense. So you get the Invisibobble uh, multi-band. Looks like that. It's like a headband kind of. And then you get another one of those. Um, they're called Spiral Hair Ring Meets Scrunchy. Scrunchy. And then you get some of the waivers. They're like bobby pins kind of sort of. Um, but they're like plastic. And then you also get some of the original Invisibobble, a uh, little, they're like hair tie things. You can see kind of on the side what they look like. So got those, excuse me, this weather is like, are your sinuses getting bad? Like sneezing and stuff? I've been sneezing all week long. And I'll wake up with like a scratchy throat and I'm like, oh no, I do not need to be getting sick right now. Anyway, and it came in a cute little thing so you can keep all your hair stuff in here. I think it was cute. And then um, I think these are the last two things. I got the Ordinary Salicylic Acid uh, Mask. This is what it looks like. This is good for blackheads. So I'm going to use it on my nose. You know how you like use a pore strip? If it's that, anyway, it's not gonna focus. Anyway, that's what it looks like. 
And then I also got the Ordinary Retinol um, in squalene. Don't know what that means, but uh, it is good for, let's see, texture and aging. So that is what that looks like. This light is just really harsh on all this white stuff, but anyway, got those, and I think that was it. Is Mama watching TV in there? I think so. Lord, she's supposed to be going to bed. She took her medicine. I like just brushed my teeth, so. I like that Ugh. aftertaste. Okay, but I just brushed my teeth. Yeah, it's pretty good. And this is the one with caffeine, the new one. The bubbly bounce. Okay, so I'm going to put some CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion on after that mask. Y'all, I have so many pimples. Not so many, but I have a big one. Okay. I want to try this retinol. Let's see. It barely smells like anything. I don't think it's supposed to. A little bit. I know you're supposed to put on your moisturizer after this, but I just thought about this, so it'll be all right. It was pretty good. I would probably would only use this at night time. Also, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror over here. So anyway, but I think this is like $6, so. You get quite a bit in there. Um, anyway, but the other day I was talking to y'all and my phone cut off um, the other morning. And anyway, it's just been a busy week. That's what I was saying. Um, my mom was in the hospital. She had DKA and um, all this other stuff. So just been taking care of her. She's back to normal now though. Thank goodness. She's been feeling amazing. Well, not like. 100% but she's been feeling way better she got her appetite back she didn't have an appetite for a minute anyway uh she's doing good like I was saying but I I'm sleepy and I it's 11 15 I need to go to bed earlier tonight so I'm gonna clean all my mess up and get in the bed and I'm gonna go to bed by like 12 45 minutes. I can do it. I just feel like my skin looks really good after that mask. I hope it can clear up some of this congestion down here that I'm breaking out from. So I'll see y'all tomorrow or sometime. I'm not sure. Maybe Monday.